We're high up in the mountains in the southwest of China near the Burmese border, and we're on our way to meet the Musuwu people, who live in a remote place which is also known as the land where women rule. We're going to spend a week there to find out what life is like in one of the world's last matriarchies. The 40,000 people strong Mosu tribe live in the foothills of the Himalayas, practice Tibetan Buddhism, and are most famous for their unique family structure. Instead of giving the responsibility of family stability to men, whose tendency to go wherever their dick points can be unreliable, it's the women who are in charge of the house, and inheritance goes from mother to daughter. And rather than traditional marriages, they have something called walking marriages, allowing women to have as many boyfriends as they please throughout their lives. To get to Lugu Lake from the nearest city, Lijian, is an eight-hour drive on mainly high-altitude dirt roads. This is one of the least developed regions in China, with no nearby railroads. So when we arrived, we were surprised to see so many Chinese tourists. So different than what I had imagined. On the way here, it felt like going back in time, but Everyone just looks completely normal, aside from some badass grandmas, and there are lots of cars and hotels and hair salons. To find out more about the Mosu, we headed to the local museum. What makes the Mosul matriarchy a matriarchy? Mosul家园的话呢，就是我们这祖母是最大的。十三岁满了十三岁，举行了那个成人礼之后呢，我们就是在这个花楼上就有自己的房间了。然后这个男孩子呢，就是可以走婚了的意思。形式呢是男方到
I was curious to know how the men felt about living in a matriarchy. So we got some guys to take us out on a boat ride. A typical Moscow first date. So romantic, very romantic. Have things changed since the old days in terms of how the walking marriage works? Mama 我要去在酒吧里面上课里面，要喊个在街上有睡觉。So women here work really hard. Do men have more spare time? 走婚这个对男生是最好的一个时代了。家里面活的什么都不怎么动了，反正都一般都女的管家，他可能带女的来管家嘛。我们这一般都很少干活。我跟你说，其实真实的个，今天你在吃烧烤了个，他也不是。These days, most Mosu are monogamous. But in the past, taking many lovers was common and still isn't considered a big deal. After the boat ride, Luzi invited me to her house for dinner. She's 32, has a son, and lives in her family home with her mom, sisters, and all their kids. There were no men around. All the women got involved in the dinner preparations. It was fascinating to see how her family was completely self-sufficient, bringing every meal from field to table on their own. The concept of supermarkets is still pretty new to them, and many Mosuo make less than $200 a year, so they're relying on producing their own food. They're putting in like this much lard per dish. It's just covered in fat. That's why it's so tasty. <laughs> I don't understand it. Everyone here is super skinny though. <laughs> this looks delicious. In London, where I live, a meal like this would be super expensive because it's all locally produced, homegrown, organic. <laughs> Yeah, that good? I'm surprised. Yeah, I got like a <laughs> Sichuan pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you lived in this house? Three generations. <laughs> Your partners, the father of your kids, do they, they don't live here with you? <laughs> Luzu only had one partner, but some women have had many walking marriages and have children with many Mosuo men. Just like the women, Men stay with their own families and take care of their sister's kid, but they can be part of their biological children's lives if they want to. Most of the 
Tak jest 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 tak
Do you still appreciate the nature here, even though you see it every day? Luga Lake was scenic, but it was also being massively remodeled as more hotels, roads, and an airport were under construction. I got the feeling we might be the last film crew to capture life in Lugu Lake before the tourists invade on a whole new level. So you, you love Mao? Are you worried that with all these changes and all these new opportunities for young people that the ancient Mosul traditions are disappearing? I was under the impression that in a matriarchy, the women would be treated like queens and the men would be doing most of the hard work. But it seems like women are working way harder here. After tea, Luzu's mom proudly took me out to the field. She'd worked and farmed her whole life. Oh my god, this is heavy. Do you do this all day? You must have such muscles. I mean, look at this place. It's like ridiculously beautiful and organic and everything. But it's sort of lost a bit of its charm to me after having had tea with the grandmas because I can't help but feeling that matriarchy here is just a way of glorifying housewives and the women work so hard. But at least they're being appreciated for what they're doing. They're the ones inheriting the property. And it's pretty sensible, actually. You'll never have a woman on the street with her kids not knowing where to go or how to feed them. And they're always getting lots of help from their family, so there are no divorces. There's no slut shaming. There's a sort of acknowledgement of how love is something fleeting. And in their own way, they have found some form of gender balance, I guess. To find out how the younger girls felt about the very traditional way of life that the Mosuo still lead, we caught up with our museum guide Kumi and her best friend Zima, both in their early 20s. <laughs> So, what are your hopes for the future? I Oh. So I'm getting all dressed up to go to Mosul and it's really exciting. I hope I'm not too big for the clothes. They're so tiny. So you guys have like you you have smartphones, you listen to pop music and you like Twilight and things like that. 
What do your grandmothers think about that? They, when we listen to those songs, they think that they are singing songs. They sing 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 songs. So does any sort of flirting happen at these dances? We, 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 Okay, so who's your dream boy? Uh, 我比较喜欢那个钟汉良。我我那个韩国的那个金宇彬。So like the K-pop stars? 他们现在都不喜欢了。现在的话都比较喜欢有蓝人味的那种。Me too. I'm done with boys. 走了，走，走，走，走，走，走，走，走，走，走，走，走，走，走，走，走，走，走，是用来服务和娱乐观光客。杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！杀杀杀！It was our last night, so we all went to the local pub, and Luzu and her cousin joined us to say goodbye. Have you ever experienced heartbreak? Ah, we this village is quite old. They are seniors. We are together. 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 We are they told us almost 80% of young Mosu leave for bigger cities, where they often get married and lead mainstream lives. I'm from Sichuan, 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 and the young Mosu we met seemed frustrated about being caught between ancient tradition and the temptations of the new China at their fingertips. Although their lives were far from perfect, they were just as annoyed with social structures as anyone else. They definitely had something special, and it was unclear if their traditions would survive. Come on.